In this tutorial we're going to cover update queries and how to uh, build and design an update query according to your needs. Uh, the database that we have open is a small database built for this tutorial that just holds different tables for um, sales clerks and different inventory that transactions are tied to. That's irrelevant for what we're actually doing. We just need the data in order to build the query. So from looking at the relationships of these tables, you can see which areas are connected and where the relationships are between each one of the items. And each table holds uh, a certain amount of information in order to run the queries that we're needing to run for this. So what we'll do is we'll start off by going to the Create tab and then going to Query Design. And once we're in Query Design, we will select the tables that we want to use that hold our data. This could range um, from all tables to two tables only, depending on the data you're actually wanting to pull out of the database. But for um, this tutorial, we'll just throw all of them in there so we can pull out different pieces of information. So for name of the clerk, we'll, we will also take inventory item, inventory cost, purchase order number, and we'll take date. Now, if we run this, it will bring this set of information up where this is the only information in the database where we have the sales clerk John sold the tires at the cost of two dollars per unit. So what we will do is we will save this as update one. Once we save this we have identified the information that we want out of our database. So this will be the identifying uh, database that is going to be used for the actual update. So if we copy this database and paste it back into the menu on the left we will be able to save it as update query 2. So we can go ahead and close this. Open update query 2 and you'll notice this is the same exact database. Put it into design view and this selection here on your menu will allow you to create a delete query or an update query. And for this tutorial we're going to choose update query. So if you select update query you'll notice that the update to bar is uh, you're given the option to populate the update, update to bar. And what this will allow you to do is choose any of the fields from the information that you've pulled out of your system and alter it to whatever you tell it to. So if we want unit cost to equal $100 if the current unit cost is less than 2. If we run this, it will say you're about to update 0 rows. And that is because our current unit cost is 2. So if we come down here and put is equal to 2 and run it, we are about to update 1 row. So now that we've done that and we've allowed it to do that, we can exit this query and update query 1 can be reopened and you'll see where the unit cost has been changed to $100. This can be done with whatever information you want to pull out according to however complex the information is. If you can give it a criteria and limit it through different queries you can update it. And this is the best way to use the update query. That's what makes it so efficient compared to going through and changing every line of data within the database. So you can do a mass change according to criteria. Um, you do not have to use the actual criteria part of the query. We can take um, criteria equal to 2 out and just put whatever unit cost is in there, change it to 1 and then run our query and it will completely ignore the criteria and populate it as a one dollar in the unit cost field. This can be done to any of the fields, don't matter what the actual formatting is. We could change tires, 
We change John's name. We can change any of these. And that is the uh, best way to use the update query for changing whatever information you need to change. I hope this has been helpful, and keep a lookout for our other tutorials on queries.